School is looking into an alleged inappropriate remark students say were made by a substitute teacher there. On your side's Nick Perot is in Fernandina Beach tonight with the story. Well, speaking with that parent, she described these comments as disturbing. That is, if these comments are in fact true, she says, though, there is a lesson that she has for parents as well as the district. And she said this incident happened at school and I'm kind of concerned about it. Tara Dunlop says she was troubled to learn what her daughter claims a substitute teacher told a Hispanic classmate Thursday. Donald Trump was going to deport him, that he needed to learn how to speak English and that he was going to go to a detainment camp. That's pretty disturbing. After dinner, Dunlop returned home to find a message from another concerned parent who's heard a similar story from her own child. And I said, did it involve a Hispanic kid and racial slurs? And she said, yes, it did. Dunlop had her daughter write down what she remembered the substitute saying. In that written recollection, the teacher criticizing the child's English and saying he'd be deported if he didn't do his work. The school district told us after learning of this this morning, the principal began an investigation, interviewing students, including the classmate in question. All of the witnesses, including the classmate in question, indicated that it was the classmate in question that initiated the exchange with the substitute teacher in an attempt to get a reaction, adding portrayal of the incident on social media was misleading, and that though the student admitted to instigating the situation, the substitute teacher did not handle the situation in an acceptable manner and appropriate action will be taken. A spokesman for Nassau County School District said they're looking into this matter about where to proceed next. Did not tell us if the sub was back in the classroom today or if they will be in the future. We're not identifying the substitute teacher as the district continues to investigate. We're in Fernandina Beach, Nick Perot, First Coast News on your side.